Good morning. Today is Wednesday, December 7, 2022. I'm James. And I'm Harper. And here are today's top headlines. It's National Letter Writing Month. Who are you writing to? Last night's PTO Parents Night was a success. But first, let's go to Vera with today's lunch menu. with today's lunch and today's lunch is my favorite chicken and veggie pot stickers with fried rice and steamed corn if you've been seeing this lunch and you're like what even is a pot sticker a pot sticker is, del is a delicious little pouch of chicken and veggies that is steamed so it is soft and warm it's really tasty try it at today's lunch or play it safe and have a brunch kit either way make sure you get your baby carrots fresh fruit and milk Thank you. Back to Harper. Thank you, Vera. Dear reader, it's been so long since we wrote, but fortunately today we have no excuse because it's National Letter Writing Day on December 7th. People haven't been writing letters as much these days because of smartphones, the internet, and before that, the telephone. But for hundreds of years, the only way for people that were separated by distance to get in touch with one another was by writing letters. Writing a letter is a great way to show someone you care. Taking a few minutes to write neatly on a nice piece of paper with a nice pen or pencil shows that you want to think about what you're writing and what you want to, and what you want to say to them. So maybe if you have a few minutes today, you could write to an O&N staff or a letter, or with a letter. Today might only be a good day to write that special letter that some families send to the North Pole. Or maybe you write a letter to a grandparent or a cousin to let them know you're missing them. Today is a great day to get back to the basics and handwrite a letter. We miss it, don't you? Write back soon. Love, O&N. Our PTO Parents Night last night was a great success. Kindergarten and first grade did an amazing job singing their winter songs for parents, and everyone looked great. All of your kindergarten and first grade teachers deserve a big thanks for dedicating the time getting the show running. If you see Mr. Otto, give him a high five for, j for a job well done on his first big school performance. Tell Mr. Meisberger how great the decorations looked. It's been a long time since our last school performance, and everyone did a great job bringing this one together. We also made a, almost $2,000 at our book fair last night. The book fair helped support our library, helped get books for kids, and even helps us get, a, helps get us Beanstack prizes. Oh, did you forget about Beanstack? Because prizes are coming up this week. There are still three days to shop at the book fair here at, here at school. So be sure to bring your money or set up your e-wallet to keep shopping. And now to Cameron with today's weather. Fall and winter have gone missing. A warm front is now to our north and spring has returned to the low country for the next few days. As we move into a midweek, temperatures will warm to unseasonable levels. Patchy dense fog has developed this morning to use caution as you head out. Otherwise, highs will top out in the mid top out to the mid to upper 70s Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday with a mix of sun and clouds and dry weather expected. Highs will drop back into the 60s for Saturday and Sunday. There is a slight chance of a weather on Sunday, but better chance in, in the early week. Today will be partly cloudy, a high of 78 and a low of 57. Now it's time for special segment Up Next on one n
week we're talking about wacky words. Every year, the people who created the Oxford English Dictionary, one of the biggest and oldest English dictionaries ever, choose new words to enter the dictionary. They also choose a word of the year. This year's word of the year, goblin mode. It's mindlessly binge watching TV without worrying about the time. It's eating snacks in bed without a care about leftover crumbs. And it's wearing the same pair of pajamas all week while on a break. Welcome to goblin mode. The slang term is defined as a type of behavior which is unapologetically self-indulgent, lazy, solvently, or greedy. Typically in a way that rejects social norms or expectations. This year, the creator of the Oxford Dictionary titled Goblin Mode as the 2022 Word of the Year, meaning it best reflected the mood of the past 12 months. Well, guys, only seven and a half more days until Goblin Mode. Words are wacky. Today is December 7th, and please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the moment of silence. <clears throat> Thank you. You may be seated. Now let's move on to our Oakland birthdays. Egypt and 1H, Nova and 2M, and Luca and Kristen and 3M. Please come to the library to get your birthday pencil. Now it's time for a birthday joke. What did the basketball player do before blowing out his birthday cake? Pause between the joke and the answer. He made a swish. Don't forget to log your Beanstack Minutes for all those new books you're reading. I'm James Ron, and have a wonderful day. And I'm Harper for O&N. Have a wonderful day.